Hey guys, I'm going live. Um, it's the first one of the year. I say I was, uh, sorry it's been kind of delayed. Kind of had some stuff going on and haven't been feeling very well, but here we are with our first stream of this year doing Pokemon Sword version. The reason why I'm doing Sword version first is Okay, everything should be back to work in order now. Let's hope. Yeah, okay. So you're gonna see that there's no file started on this save, or on this profile, because I made it last night just so I could have a separate save from my actual one. So, uh... In usual tradition, I usually use the uh, sword version as the male file and the shield version as the female save file. But I think we're going to be a girl for this save file and do male for the shield. Uh, for this one, we'll just call her the default name. I think it's Gloria. Because this isn't the same switch and the same profile that I used on a stream I did on my birthday last year. Um, with a character called Kayame. Because I want to have a fresh new save to be able to do all this. So hopefully the uh, sound isn't too loud. So I'm trying not to get another copyright claim on my videos. Beloved Galar is a wonderful place with thriving nature. And beautiful cities and many Pokemon which share our lives. Truly share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks to the help of these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even in, with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon and do battle and compete, we call Pokemon trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now you're now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, the undefeated champion. It's time for a champion Leon's exhibition match. So one thing about this game, aside from a lot of the criticism because of the fact there's not a lot of Pokemon available through these games, is that it's got a lot of comic relief in all honesty. Especially with this character here for particular Leon. And the other guy here. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record's about to end. You know I don't lose battles, Rayhan. Charizard, Dynamax. We got, like, Leon is more of a comic relief character. You'll be seeing more of that when we get deeper into the game, but... Here's another thing that really kind of was upsetting for people was... We were told no returning starters at start. But yet, Charizard was able to come into the base game. Now, in case you're curious, I will be doing, or in case anyone is curious, if you don't follow me on Twitter already, I will be doing everything from the base game to the very end of Crown Tundra. Just because I want to. <laughs> because if I bought the whole game, I'm going to, you know, play the whole game. So here's our character here, Gloria, sitting on the couch watching her phone. Hello, hello. That's your flat, that your flash new phone, Gloria. Were you watching Leon's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him with your hands full. Properly cheer on Leon's, do his famous Charizard pose. Hop, they expect to see you today, dear. Isn't this the big day? 
Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Gloria. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. He's a good little sibling. <laughs> Come with me, Gloria. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I shouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you later. See you at mine later. Alright. So we get our first input of the game. I'm immediately going to go into options here. Turn on faster things because uh, these text boxes are slow. Also, I don't know if you guys are hearing it, but it's a bit crackly with the sound here. Let me go fix that. If I can. I don't think I can. I'm not sure what's going on. So hopefully it's not too bad on your guys' end then. Because I can hear it really bad on mine. There is, I'm guessing, our mom's sleeping munch legs. Let's talk to our mom. Rushing off in that state, Gloria. Didn't Hop say to bring your bag? I saw it in your room, and don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. And there's our hat and our uh, bag here. Got your mom's old bag. So it tells us how to open the X, uh, the adventurer's guide, for the town map and stuff. So here's our bag. It holds. Kind of already got potions in it. Wow. And a key item. Adventure guide, the fishing rod. These will come into play later on. Uh, so will the ingredients, treasures, TMs, and other items and stuff like that. But potions are just like your atypical healing item. A plush is the Pokemon Eevee. It's super soft to the touch. Ladies do get a console sitting by the telly. Brand new telly. Your mom bought it for you. Bought it so you could use your game console. Yeah, let's go to our mom. Goodbye. Don't you look a treat? I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going into the forest. The two of you. All right. So no going into the forest. <laughs> Have a look at you, Gloria. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know it should hold anything we might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. A Wooloo. What's that doing there? Keeps knocking to that gate. Hey, you silly Wooloo, I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on that fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. <laughs> Everyone knows that there's scary Pokemon living in the Sunbring Weald. Well, that's taken care of. How about it, Gloria? Let's race. I bet I can make it to my house first, with, but with you lugging that big old bag. You're also going to make it to your house first because you're like right there in front of me and you have a running head start, so. Yeah, this game actually doesn't look too terrible. I mean, it's just like how a Pokemon game, you know, normally probably looks. Then again, I don't really care about a game's graphics. All that off, all that much, I mean. So, I thought there was some kind of like secret outside this house. Might be a little bit later on, but. 
Here we are at Hop's place. Come on, is he here? Here you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along Gloria. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? You've got him cram- Have you got him crammed in the, in the cupboard? <laughs> He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn to some patience. He's probably out- He probably only just arrived at the station of Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. Uh, you know Lee is hopeless with directions. And make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, you will? Yes, it's probably for the best. Probably is for the best. You gotta come with me, Gloria. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. So, just real quick, I don't know why, but... For whatever reason, like, my chat here just keeps saying, you know, Welcome to the chat. Like... Um... It's not even reloading the page. Why does it keep, or not even refreshing it? Why does it keep saying welcome to the chat room? I'll wait for you on the route. Like, I don't even know why it keeps doing this, but we're just going to ignore that. For now. This old man here. To hop. His brother is a superhero. Yeah. That's a purloin over there. That might be Hop's mom's. Leon is so busy that he can hardly come home, but it, but would like to keep his room clean. I, but I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. So here's Leon's room. He's got a shit ton of hats. <laughs> All these like collection of various caps. The top shelves are filled with books that seem to be hard to understand. It's only adults read these type of books. Well, it's hard to tell what kind of books those are then. <laughs> That's this is Hop's room. All right, enough little dilly dicking around. Well, one more thing. Yeah, yeah, enough dicking around now. Let's get going with the story. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Gloria, wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. Not you, Gloria. We'll steer. So we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Yeah, any typical Wooloo Pokemon. Tall grass always contains uh, wild Pokemon. Let's go immediately at the station. It's dead ahead from here. So, another thing is is that we'll be seeing a little bit later on when we get to a certain point, but there is one thing I do like that they did for Sword and Shield that a lot of people don't really give a lot of credit to. I don't know if we'll get to it in this stream or not, but if we do, we do, and if we don't, we don't. Charizard pose. Hello, hello, Witchers. Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. This is our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've been working our battle skills just like you taught us to Lee. Taught us to Lee. That Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong. Other Pokemon could be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together and become the strongest in all the world. Lee. Hop. 
So you're my number one fan in all the world. My number one fan in all the world has come all this all his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown to exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, that's sort of a sharp eye that's that's the sort of sharp eye that keeps you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And those bright eyes over here? I've got it, you must be Gloria, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. The Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and the Master Charizard fan too. So people call me the unbeatable Le people call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. And you, Gloria. I bet I can beat the both of you back back home. That hop, always wanting to see always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I've always, I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion, can have a champion. Come on, man, you promised us a present, so out with it. Damn, hot. You brought glory and me Pokemon. D you did. D yeah, I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the champion. It's showtime, everyone. Now, here's our starters of the gener of Generation 8. Take a good look, you two. Grookey, the grass type Pokemon. Fire type score bunny and the water type supple. Come on up, everyone. Which will you choose? Alright, so we get first dibs. Um, I haven't honestly given it much thought of who I wanted to go with. Go on and pick first. I've already got my Wulu after all. So I haven't really given it a lot of thought here because I kind of really like all three of these starters and all their evolution. Spinal evolutions are like really, really great. And I've already got Grookey on like a couple of saves. Um, just for the fact I see a lot of Score Bunny art, but not a lot of Intellion, we'll take uh, Sobble. Either way, I'm able to get a hold of each of these. I have plenty of eggs I can just hatch real quick and throw one over if I need to complete the Pokedex. Water type Sobble, it adapts it to anything as surely as water flows. You're going with the water type Pokemon Sobble? Yes. You choose Sobble. I tried to give Sobble a nickname. Um, I'll refrain from nicknames for right now. There is a thing later on you can give Pokemon nicknames though. So if I ever do come up with nicknames to give them later on, we'll throw a nickname on them. So it'll be Sobble for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Score Bunny. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Yeah, so the thing about Score Bunny also is, is that, um, or the thing about Hop is he's going to choose the uh, Pokemon weak against your starter, going against usual tradition where the rival takes the one that has advantage over your starter. But there's also the whole thing where it's kind of like you're the rival. I bet you will be hot. I bet you'll be hot. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Gloria. So you two can be better. Uh, you can battle and train and grow stronger together. To try and, uh, to try to reach me. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict but very strong and 
real kind too. <laughs> I love this <laughs> spooky. All right, enough of all this trainer's nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. So bring your Pokemon, kill your Pokemon, and let's all eat. The next day. You spend the whole night with your new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting along, getting on all right, understand one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course they have, Lee. Gloria's made fast friends with her Sobble, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourselves and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy of rivals for me. The unbeatable champion. What are you look What are you looking at her for, Lee? I'm the one who's coming to challenge you. If you think Gloria might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to her and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainer phrase Pokemon to be a Pokemon up to be a first rate in battle too. So you, oh, and do you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. So you can do yourself in battle against your friend if she's up for it. What do you say, willing to take on Hop for the first Pokemon ever, battle ever in your, of your life? Let's do it. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling them with them. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon trainers alike. Then let's do this. I watched every match that you've ever had, and I've read every book and magazine you left behind at home. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Jenny also had some really good music. Wooloo. Who's sitting out first? Pokemon battle it is. Got my partner with me. My two partners with me. So all we know is pound and growl. Wooloo is a normal type, so we're not doing really any kind of like extra damage to him because type advantages and you know stuff. It'll become more talked about in later parts. If this was a Let's Play, I'd probably be, you know, a bit more informative with, you know, screens and stuff like that. Probably for the recordings, but this really is just something I wanted to do. It's been kind of my mind I want to play this game again. Gain experience. Leveled up. Learned Water Gun. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. So that's Scorbunny. Water Gun. Not sure if that picked up or not, but I just my phone let me know somebody I get tweet notifications for tweeted. Did you beat Score Bunny? Level seven. Beat Hop. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. You and that Sobble are too much. Four hundred Poke dollars for winning. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know why. Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. Between your Pokemon have fought all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Sobble. Why don't you why don't I get you all sorted? So he'll decide that battle. And Gloria 
to a real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask of you. If you're rival to Hop, would you push him to make you both stronger? I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me battle now, Lee. So come on. You gotta let me take on the Pokemon gems. You would join the Poke uh, the gym challenge? You think that you're ready for this single greatest competition in the Yalar region? Not putting your the cart before the Rapidash here, little brother. <laughs> putting the cart before the Rapidash. It's not like... It's, if that's really what you want to do, you have a whole lot to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Gloria, before you think about getting gym badges, best you think about getting a Pokedex. The trainer's Pokedex helps them learn a lot of things, all about the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know, it's a record of the trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is done. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Gloria. That's kind of that's kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let you and let the professor know to expect you. You're going to be the next champion, so competing in this completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing, just another page of the tale of, in the tale of my legend. You'll probably be better be better go tell your mom that you're heading out. So. I can't read today. <laughs> My brain is like scrambling everything together. I apologize if I'm missing words or fumbling. Glory, did you just hear that now? Hear that just now? The gate's open. The Wulu was there. That was there. He was tackling the fence uh, pretty hard earlier. You don't think they actually broke through there. Do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in there, went in once, and she came out in a real state. I don't know. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from per the professor awkward. Afterward. God. Gloria, what do you say? Let's go talk and save it. Right? Even if we're not supposed to. This is the kind of sense that where you, where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Gloria. See, it's just like the uh, the beginning scenes, uh, beginning parts of Link Between Worlds. Slumbering Willow's over this way. Let's go find that Wooloo. Okay, I guess I'll just go in there. But yeah, it's kind of like uh, the beginning scenes of. Uh, Link Between Worlds, where you have the uh, sword you're supposed to deliver to the to the king, and uh, or that knight, and you end up having to use the sword to get into the castle. That Wulu, where do you think it got off to? The fog's really coming down thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, we might be in this might be trouble. Alright, so the game has an outright told you to, to, you can do this, but if you twirl the control stick around, you can Charizard pose. Oh well, it's cool of it. So I guess you can probably train in this section, but I'm going to like, try not to do too many battles because I don't want to overlevel my Pokemon. Because the thing is, is if you overlevel Pokemon, they will eventually stop listening to you. And that's where the game becomes more of a soft lock than anything. Because if they can't listen to your commands, they're not going to be able to finish battles, or you're just going to end up dying over and over. So, we ain't doing that today. <laughs> yeah, these Pokemon are kind of, kind of underleveled in this area. Doing all right there, Sobble. Let's be sh sure you're in tip-top shape. There, now let's push on. All right, let's keep moving forward here. So the best way to avoid encounters is to like, you know, crawl through the grass here. I'm not sure if these are scripted encounters either or not. So 
That's also something you gotta look out for. Like, do we have Pokeballs? No. Okay. We won't have Pokeballs till a little bit later on. Let's take care of this Rookie D here. Like, even though I think it would probably play a lot similar to, um... Talonflame, I think it'd be kind of cool to see Corviknight, you know, probably hit Pokemon Unite sometime. I doubt it'll happen because, like I said, we've already got Talonflame. So let's try to see. From past year. Music here, too, is really, really good. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying, crying out, you think? Yeah, I think these are scripted encounters. Because I'm really making the least amount of noise to be able to trigger these battles. Maybe they're not. Maybe I'm just overlooking it and being an idiot. It's what I'm good at doing. So, let's go up here. Come on, Gloria, that blue might be in real trouble. Hop runs off into the fog. Let's run off after. This is some really dense fog. This is bad. I can't even see my own hands in front of my face. My hand in front of my face. I think I get it now why this place is off limits. What in the? Question mark, question mark, question mark favorite Pokemon. Just kidding. Um, so we don't know anything about this Pokemon just yet. Maybe the story will tell us a bit about him. But, oh my god. Yeah, sorry. I like really obsessing over music sometimes. So let's go ahead and attack this thing. Nothing happened. Mysterious Pokemon Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. What the? Or what? The move had no effect on it. Water gun? It has no effect. <laughs> Corey, I can't see anything. Are you okay? I like how it actually overlayers the effect of the moves, too. Growl? Would be can we be hit by status moves? No effect. The fog's becoming worse. I can't see anything. Wow. Might need to pause here in a minute, eh? I'm gonna go do something real fast. But I'll do that after all this scene here is done. Hop, Gloria. What? Lee, how'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Your pants with directions. You always get, you always get lost. <laughs> Well, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting for ages. 
I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course, I came looking for you both, for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We were trying to rescue the Wulu. Eon found it. The little chaps, just fine. All you had, though all you had fainted by that time. I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But took courage to come here. Come in here all the same. And I can understand you well enough why you did it. Why you, uh, you did good, Top. At least that Wulu's alright. Yeah, Gloria? I thought we'd had it when the weird fog started to roll in and that, that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger with any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it had some sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seemed to pass right through it. Our moves passed right through it. Okay, nothing important. So that fierce, so the fearsome Pokemon that I say live in the slumbering world are actually illusions or something get strong enough maybe the two of you could be the one of the be the ones to reveal the truth today for now let's simply get out of this place you'll be all right now that I'm here with you even if we did get an earful from Leon or from Lee quite an experience this will be pretty fun that will be a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend don't forget to tell your mom we're off to wet shirts now She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. Alrighty. Um, let's go ahead and mute this. So yeah, I'm hoping that the sound is coming through good. I'll turn this up just a little bit. So I'm trying. I'm still messing with settings. I'm trying to make this 
most efficient thing possible. Nothing too important. Oh, wait, we forgot to tell our mom we were leaving. <laughs> My sometimers kicking in. Sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. What? Well now, isn't Sample just a sweetheart? Yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to wedge here, aren't you? Here, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Sopo will battle up to the very end for you. So don't go pushing your poor dear too hard. Poor dear too hard. What? <laughs> and you, Sopo, look after my little Gloria. Come here and rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. I like that. East or west, home is best. That might be an actual thing, I just never heard it before. It's kind of like, um... Bumfuck Egypt. I didn't know that was an actual thing till my friend said it one time. Here we go, this is quite a big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Because I'll probably train up my sword bunny a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof with a great red and white ball marked out on the on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Alright, uh, so these Wulu are blocking the way for us to get through here, so we gotta go to the tall grass. Thankfully we've got our Sobble with us. So I'm gonna avoid leveling up. Here's our first free potion. Avoid bees. Oh yeah, if that exclamation point shows up, that's when the random counter is going to begin out of the out of the wild. If you stand, if you keep walking towards it, I guess, or at least keep walking. Get a prayer, uh, paralyzed heal. One of the status conditions. Oh, it's paralysis. Rookie D. Unnerved to be this service to berries. The rookie D will leave it be. Like, I'm gonna come back to this area here in just a few minutes. But I gotta go get my Pokedex first. So, Leon's Charizard still here. Um, so, I think there is. Yeah, there's a secret over here. Well done, you've reached a goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I was hopeless with I'm hopeless with directions. See how you see how the world has already grown. All thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know you're sh I know you know, I know I'm sure glad that I got my Charfic with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. Okay, I guess it forces us into this cutscene. I was gonna go show off a secret, but I'll be able to show it off as soon as this is all done. I gotta give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Corgo. I love the dog Pokemon, especially like this one here. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-before-seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with those outlandish requests. <laughs> hello, hello. Good to see you too, Yamper. 
Jumper here is a real champion, a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and this is his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food that you can gobble down in a flash. Tsk. What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Anyways, nice to meet you. My name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Gloria. She's the new Pokemon trainer. Set her on the right path, would you? Sigh. What is he... What does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. <laughs> oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Those Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make. I think it's a, you can use the ro or the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Obtain the Pokedex. Just so you know, that Pokedex is the gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She was in the house down along the road too. All right. So now we have the mystery gift options and a Pokedex. So this tells us we've already seen five Pokemon and we've only caught one of them. So uh, this is another thing I like about this one is it tells you I do not know what the hell I just did. Uh, but this tells you how much they weigh and some stuff about them. And how many times you've actually uh, battled one of these things. And if you have multiple language Pokemon from online trades, it will actually give you information about their, uh, in their actual like language. Which I think is cool. When scared this Pokemon cries, it's here to pack a chemical punch at 100 onions and attackers won't be able to resist weeping. Wow. But yeah, we're actually gonna go complete the Galar Pokedex. I'm not sure if we're gonna like do Crown Tundras on Isle of Armors because both of them are also pretty lengthy. Because this is like 300, if I remember correctly. So let's go ahead and leave here. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon Lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love take talking to new po the new trainers and giving them useful stuff. And a potion. It's a potion. You use this in Pokemon's HP. Their hit points get slow. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can use po potions during battle. You can use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything that you can on your journey. Alright, so a little secret here. Go around back. You get a free rare candy. When consumed, it instantly raises a single Pokemon's level by one. So there's also a couple of extra things that involve EXP that Sword and Shield was given that a lot of people probably still see as controversial. But we'll be seeing those later on. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? This time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way, not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got a Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're easy, that easy to spot. It'll be the same whenever, they'll look the same wherever you go. Come on, Gloria, I bet you've never been inside one. There's also a girl outside the Pokemon Center. I, she, as far as I know, she's never done anything. Level with me, Gloria. Is this your first time in Pokemon Center? Of course not. But I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. 
Cheers. I'm already good, though. I'm heading to Route 2, Gloria. Come find me, maybe when we're done here. Alright. So, here is Nurse Joy. She'll heal your Pokemon for you. This guy is the Names Raider and the uh, Move Reminder and Move Forgetter. It's very convenient to pack all these in one spot. So like I said, if we want to give our Pokemon a nickname later on, we can. If we forgot a move that we want them to know, we can give it back to them. I think aside from like maybe TM, HMs, and TRs, but we'll be, well, TMs and TRs, but we'll get more of those later. Or we can make them forget a move if we want them to learn, remember a different move from their past, I guess. I don't use this guy too often. Then over here is our Pokemon shop, because the thing with Pokemon Center is you'll hear your Pokemon as many times as you need and for free. And the thing is with uh, the Pokemon shops is they put them together in this build in this game, which is really kind of helpful. So we can buy stuff or we can sell stuff. The only thing he's selling is potions, which we've got like five of. Antidotes, which cure poison. Burn heal, which obviously, ice is obviously. Awakenings, you know, wake you up and revives, bring us back to life with a little bit of our HP. Let's buy two revives for now. We'll buy revives later on when we need them, but you're in the beginning game, you probably shouldn't need them. Shouldn't need them. I'm not saying that you're not going to. You might. So yeah, this girl, we're not going to talk to her. As far as I know, she, there's nothing relevant with talking to her at all. She just asks you what your birthday is, and when you tell her, she just disappears. Like, why is she even there? Secret over here. Poke doll. This guarantees you an escape from battle. So here's one of my other one of my favorite features of um, Sword and Shield is you can actually uh, customize your trainer. So we can actually take off of our jacket and see what the shirts look like without the jacket on. Ooh, I like the Arcanine tee. It's like thirty thousand Poke dollars though. Or we can buy hoodies. I like to like buy all the hoodies and stuff and then like make it look really nice. Like a really cute little outfit put together. Got some skinny trousers or some mini skirts. Some denim sh pants. We don't have any dresses available here. You can get dresses later on. Personally, I kind of want to like uh, change up your outfit a little bit because not a big fan of those boots. Not really a big fan of these loafers either, but... Oh yeah, you can also get a new bag. Um, hats. So this... I think it's Scally caps? I think that's how that's pronounced. Although I kind of do like the beret. Or we can buy glasses. So let's go ahead and get Gloria a pair of glasses. Um, let's do pink. Uh, some gloves. We'll get some gloves a little bit later on. But um, I think for her outfit here, we'll get her a. Red hoodie. Get her a t shirt here, real quick. Like a, uh, a loose blue top. And then put a red skirt here. So we can always change these around later on. That's what I usually like to do is 
like get a bunch of stuff and then find what I think looks best with it and then uh, change stuff later. Uh, so let's just buy a new backpack here while we're here real quick. Let's get a, uh, let's get the blue bag or let's get this bag here. It looks really nice. Uh, I like the style of the, of the colors. And then for the hat, we're gonna get a red. They don't sell red ones. They sell it in the parades, they do. Yes, okay. So I'm shopping. So we'll wait and buy shoes when we get to a different store. Because there's clothing stores all across the uh, generation. Let's go see Hop up here. Listen, Gloria, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at Gym Challenge, right? Gym Challenge? Gym Challenge, mate. You know, competition where Pokemon or trainers can battle it out with the right for the, for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. Lee doesn't think, doesn't seem to think I'm up for, up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. So you've got to take part too. Your proper rival is just everything, is just it's just a thing every po every trainer needs to keep growing stronger. After all. Oh, he made like a rant. I feel like a surprise. Uh, sure. Professor's house is. Hey, gonna follow. Thank you. Team's chance to be. Like, thanks, that was like really kind of unexpected. I guess that's why they call it a surprise. Uh, so we actually do have Pokeballs now. Yay. So let's. We'll catch some Pokemon. I gotta calm down a little bit. So. I gotta think of what our team's gonna be for the late game, but we still got plenty of time for that. Oops. We'll catch a Wooloo. That crosses off the Pokedex. Let's go Sobble. Um, water Gun. Okay. I'm gonna growl this and drop our attack. Throw a Pokeball. Wooloo was caught. Level up. Woo! Earn bind. Not really sure if bind is going to be really helpful here. Cushion the Pokemon can fall off the cliff, stand right, stand right back up at the bottom unharmed. Let's not give the Wooloo a nickname yet. Add to the party. It's like literally I remember when Wooloo was revealed and it literally broke the internet. We all love this adorable this just a sheep. <laughs> Rookie D Rookie D's nuts. And yeah. 
top tier comedy. Oh, heck, he peck. Let's try pound. Power trip. It's not a bad move in all honesty. I think power trip gets stronger if you like had stat buffs before you used it. Yep. It's Could these data will be added to the Pokedex? Bravely challenge any opponent, no matter how powerful. This Pokemon benefits from every battle, even a defeat increases its strength a bit. Oh uh, shit, I didn't want to give it a nickname yet. So if I come up, if we come up with some better nick, if we, go, if we can <laughs> if we come up with nicknames later on, we'll give it a nickname. Oh yeah, if you uh, click in your uh, left control stick, um, you'll do a whistle, which can either scare off Squilovitz or call Pokemon to your attention. Oh, well, uh, thanks for at least dropping by, Reckless. You're uh, the real MVP. <laughs> I'm just catching the catch right now. Like when we come to team building, there's one I'm definitely adding because every team I've ever built always has this one particular Pokemon coming up. School of its data. Found throughout the Galar region, this Pokemon becomes uneasy if its cheeks are even completely empty or ever completely empty of berries. And we're talking about the ones on its face. <laughs> Good job in filling your Pokedex. There are still a lot of Pokemon that you haven't caught yet. Let's catch more Pokemon. Let's give Squirrel a nickname. No. Oh, we're already getting to the uh, Brilliant Pokemon. So Brilliant Pokemon are what that Rookie D there looks like. They kind of like glow with energy. They give you a special thing called Watts, but we won't be learning about those until the late game. So it's... We can just overlook that one right now. So we'll get healed up. So I'm kind of hoping that these streams won't be too boring for you guys because there might be a lot of grinding involved. That's part of the reason why I didn't want to do Kingdom Hearts and make it just like a series where I grind off screen. Like a Let's Play series and I grind off screen, but... I'm not even sure if that's going to go over very well or not. Of course, I haven't heard any complaints in my comment section yet about it being boring as fuck, but it could be people trying to be courteous and, you know, not say anything. Like, now I value that kind of opinion. If it's bad, you know, just freaking tell me. I'll do anything I can to better benefit to make it to where it's, you know, enjoyable to viewers. It's kind of like what the uh, dis dislike button used to be able to, you know, function for on YouTube before public counts stopped uh, started disappearing. That was one of the dumbest decisions I think it's made. Well, aside from the fact that, you know, it lets you know the video is going to be shit anyway if it's got a high discount, like, most likely. Like, clickbait. I don't know. Alright, Gloria, it's time to do anything you bet. I'm here to teach you how. You need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? 
Only look at you, little Gloria. You've already caught some of your own. Your mom gave you those Pokeballs, didn't she? Or did she? Catch almost uh you see me just cash almost like they're itching to join some trainers. Team, what did you say? Team twenty Pokeballs. Thank you, Leon. The Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course you can experience points from battles, so take on trainers and meet take on other trainers and meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on charging, changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, all right, I'm going to catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. Ooh, nick it. I like this Pokemon. Alright, so let's so Nick it is like the fox Pokemon of this generation. Uh it's also one that the internet really really loved when it first got revealed. Can't say so much about its evolution, but Nicket itself was a beloved Pokemon, almost as beloved as Wooloo was. Just got a level up there. Nicket state has been added. Aided by the soft pads on its feet, it silent, silently raids the foot stores of the other Pokemon. It, the food stores of other Pokemon. It survives off of its ill-gotten gains. The Boots, the foot stores. Fucking idiot. Give Nick it a nickname. No thanks. So yeah, Nick was out of the party. Alright, so that wasn't the Pokemon I was talking about. That's on my teams always. That one is just down this path here. So we're to fight this kid here. He's a Pokemon trainer. Common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Challenge by Youngster Jake. He's not Squovit. Let's use Tackle, it's fine. Let's just use Pound. Thank you, shit. Granted, it's a normal type move used against a normal type, where normal types don't really have any weaknesses or, well, they are weak to fighting types. And the only thing that they are immune to is ghosts, and they have no resistances. School of Learned Bite. It's a really good dark type move. Got 360 Poké Dollars for winning. Oh. It's a, the Trugle that became a split bug. <laughs> that became a blip bug. <laughs> really, I thought I encountered that Trugle there. But instead, the game wanted me to have a blip bug. Struggle bug. Go ahead and catch this clip bug here because Pokedexes and for well, I'm gonna have probably get a better fire bug type before then, but I know our first gym is gonna be a grass type gym leader. Help us in the long run. Clip bug. 
A constant collector of information, this Pokemon is very smart, very strong, is very strong is what it isn't. People have bug a nickname. No. Actually, let's go in and heal up Sobble here. Shootle, let's go. So this was actually one I was kind of excited to see. Like, it's evolution. It's shiny, so the evolution is really cool too. So, Choodle, I believe, is... I don't know if he gets his rock typing at evolution, but I know he's a water rock type. Let's just use Pound again. Oh, Blue Mercury. 22, hello. Oh, no, no. I don't know why I'm so not used to pressing that X button. I played shit tons of this game. Especially during the event of, uh, the one where this one was, like, appearing in raids really often, and it gave you, like, tons of candy if you caught it. Apparently the itch of its the itch of its teething impales to snap its jaws at any time of a, anything in front of it. So we're not gonna get a nickname sent to a box. Free item here. Two potions. This friggin' route's full of potions. The beginning game is full of potions. Three Pokeballs. Yeah, if you catch detention of a... Ooh. I do like this a Pokemon, too. It's a uh, Galarian Zigzagoon. Oops. Ah, it's alright. We can encounter one later on anyway. Rookie, you learn Home Claws. So over to level 6. Nick, you're to level 7. Let's go ahead and battle this lass here. I want to. This is Ivy. I think Ivy's a little bit later on. Cute and strong. Together in combination. Last Lauren. Send out Choodle. Choodle ain't no challenge. Getting close to my ending time here, unfortunately, but it's been a pretty interesting stream here so far. have anything that's strong against this. I don't. Shit. So again, you played this game, but this time you're streaming it? Yeah, I'm streaming through like a uh, just like a normal playthrough of it. Like, I'm gonna play it through like this time, and then a little bit later on there's a challenge run I was gonna try and do if I can find a way to make it work. Where I go through with only one Pokemon. But one that is like, only available in Isle of Armor. There's ways I can get it into my game without, you know, having to go to Isle of Armor first and all that. But, there's that, and I've been itching to want to play this game again from the very beginning. So, I thought, why not just, you know, stream it? Since I'm already doing a Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts. I don't want to do, like, two really long, grind-heavy Let's Plays at the same exact time because even then I might forget about one and have more episodes than the other it's weird I know but my brain is 
funky when it comes to thinking up a bunch of st like explaining things. Are we cute and nothing more? Looks like our strength has still has a ways to go. Five hundred four Poke dollars for winning. We got one more trainer before we get to the house here. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. We'll see about that. Split bug. Water gun. Nearly one shot at it. Nick it. Um I think my blip bug's a little too weak to be able to fight it, but we're gonna like try it anyway. <laughs> uh, not my nicket or blip bug. I think it's a little too weak to fight it, but it's a learning, it's a learning curve, I guess. I'm just trying to find something to make it effective and kill it faster. Cause I don't got much longer. But oh, that asshole knows quick attack. Yeah, it's not going to be able to kill this thing. I got to heal. Take a turn to heal it, I mean. Unfortunately. It's better than wasting a turn to revive. Because then you can also risk of losing another Pokemon as soon as you brought one back. I know that feeling all too well. I've had it happen before in my earlier playthroughs of like Sun and Moon and stuff like that. Granted, I've also done that just to like, as like a throwaway tactic. No. Tail whip. Wooloo and Flipbug leveled up. Beat Youngster Benjamin. Lose to wild Pokemon. Lose too many trainers. $420 for winning. Yeah! 420 Um. We're about to go into a long cutscene. It might be my last cutscene for this. For this one. Might be. There's also a secret I'm going to want to show off with this section. Look, there's the professor. So you have un unraveled all the secrets of Dynamax Phenomenon yet? Oh goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hope that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guest. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. So, I'm not sure if Magnolia is a bush, I'm pretty sure it's a, like a bush or a tree, because the naming scheme theme for all uh, Pokemon professors is they're named after trees, all the male ones are, but the only one that wasn't was uh, Professor Juniper, because you were named after a juniper bush. I always thought that was kind of funny. And Gen 5 is my favorite generation, so. My dear Hop, I was always looking for some reason to talk about it. That's what I was meaning by talking about it being my gen favorite generation. I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Gloria. I trust that you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it completed in no time. 
You must already know how dynam about dynamaxing, right, Gloria? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use dynamaxing to the fullest. Here you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Leon Lee that he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why? Why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Gloria only started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads that they don't know yet. Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong. Trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if you two... Let's see the t if the two of you can show me... A, such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure you both of your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Gloria. So I think we can actually, like, not do the battle right away. So I can go show off that thing with Magnolia's house. So if you go behind the house, you get TM57, payback. The user stores power, then attacks. If the user moves after the target, the power, the attack's power will be doubled. So it's one of these more like, like restriction based moves that do more power if you follow a certain aspect the battle uh there's some stuff over there but we can't actually access that because we don't have a way to go across water so we're just gonna act like it doesn't exist for now come back later on um yeah there's an item over here found a great ball a good high performance Pokeball that provides a higher success rate for catching Pokemon than standard Pokeballs. Uh, I think it's 1.25 times the capture rate for greats. I know it's just slightly higher than a normal Pokeball, but all Pokeballs have a, a capture rate formula that they follow. It's a lot more complicated than what it would sound. But I'm also not going to be here to explain all of that because that'd be a two hour stream of it of itself and everybody would be bored and with migraines when it's all done. So hurry up, Gloria. You gotta, you've got to battle me so I can get myself get myself that endorsement. Jeez, Mr. Pushy. I'm going to become the greatest trainer there is. And to do that, I need to the endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you got so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. Rather interested to see how you two young trainers trainers battle battles too. Now uh, listen, you two, the reason it's I'm unbeatable is because I learned from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. Time for my legend to begin. Challenge by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Send out Lulu. Got a bit stronger. Steam put to the test. It's fine. Let's do this. So we'll use tackle. By the way, I think in later like streams I might end up turning off battle animations. 
just because that's a part of the reason why this game takes a lot of times it does is because battle animations have to play out and thankfully you can disable those but some of them are kind of neat and funny so Sobble grew to level 11 Rookie D grew to level 9 let's go up it to 7 Nick it to 8 and Nick it learned home claws I to send out score bunny keep it in have our Inteleon take care of this one shot. Almost. <laughs> well, look at you. As soon as you learn two type matchups. I have a taste of our power. Our flames are burning bright. Used Ember. It's not very effective. Ah, uh, it's okay, Hop. Better luck next time. Flip bug grew to level 8. Send out Rookie D. I don't... Don't think we have anything to fight fighting type... Flying types. Besides a flying type of our own. Yeah, I'll just keep Sobble in. I think... I don't think water is weak to flying. I know grass is. And so is bug. At least I'm pretty sure bug is. Because birds eat bugs. What was I worried about? We one shot at it. <laughs> Oof. Gutted that I lost. But I'd expect nothing less from my rival. $640 for winning. And even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to two of us getting stronger, right? That's right. Gloria, hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I had little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Being a letter of endorsement. A letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Yes, thanks. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and pretty rough around the edges, but it's a prop was a proper battle. Charizard and I are we're both feeling the excitement and every last cell in our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that I've Nothing to do with the real strength. Honestly, I've been, I've been worried about you, s still obsessing over that sort of nonsense. But it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you, gl too, Gloria. All right, Gloria, you and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. More. We keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Gloria, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since, the, since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. Then the wishing star. A stone that's found in Galar region with mysterious power. It is said that your dreams come true once if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes! Trust to pull something like that. Tr uh, trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I'll be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever! There, I've said it three times. So surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. These wishing stars are composed of curious, of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most powerful precious, one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region. 
but they won't do any do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. Ah, right. You've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Gloria and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First we got a battle against that mad Pokemon in the Slumbering Wield, and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in an adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get too don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems to come back home right seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Sonia Hey, you lot, why why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. It's morning at last, and our adventure... Cypher adventure will truly start. Good morning to you, challengers. Hop, is it true that you really met some... Pokemon that you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Er, well, there was a weird heavy fog and this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Gloria tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A bright fount of information you are. Gloria, hop. These are for, uh, for you. So our wishing stars... Are now Dynamax band. You got a Dynamax band from the Professor Ma from Professor Magnolia and slipped onto your wrist. Dynamax band. A wishing star has been affixed, uh, affixed to it, so it lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when in, at a power spot. Those are your Dynamax bands. To make them, I made them by fitting the wishing star you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the ones Lee has on. It's just like the one Lee has on him too. Now we can Dynamax your Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? <laughs> I think you'll find it's not so simple as that. There are a number of conditions you must meet, and if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on a gigant that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go out, go to all sorts of places, and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That'll help. Fill out your Pokedex too. The legend of the of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Gloria, I'll beat you to the station. All right, so that's it for uh, that's it for this stream. I'll be back next Sunday with the next part. Thanks for all who came by and joined the stream tonight. It really meant a lot to me.